Okay, so let's catch you up. So yesterday, in the last video, we were seen a spend of a day in Aruba, sort of flamingos, had a really nice day. We then came back on a ship and we were waiting for sail away. It's now the following day. It is 10 to 11 in the morning. And we're still waiting for sail away. So right now we should be, according to the plan, be at Bonaire, but that's not meant to be. Uh, so instead we have, we've just been here, haven't we? So, uh, so yeah, obviously these things happen on cruises and we've both said already, whilst it's disappointing, I think, you know, we're not getting to see as many places. We did get to go to Aruba yesterday, which was the main place that we had booked and planned for. So thankfully that happened. We're not, like, we're not entirely sure why. I mean, the captain has done announcements, but some of it's been a bit, like, going over our head, hasn't it? It's to see with, like, fuel and then they've had to get into the... Those, like a, call a, it, like a, a bunk, barge a thing. bunker or a barge yeah who knows yeah. let us know if we're getting it wrong <laughs> yeah we probably um, are i mean as far as we know there's not anything wrong with the ship it's just that it needs fuel and complications have happened and everything else so logistical problems isn't it rather than everything else yeah this is obviously quite common i think on cruises that you know something changes either because of the weather because you can't get into a port or what have you so I suppose the saying that like we're experiencing on our first cruise and we just roll with it. It means we have, in theory, got a full sea day. It's also Dave's birthday today. So happy birthday for all the exciting things we can do on board. So, uh, so I've been asking Dave what he wanted to do and I think he's decided we're going to go do mini golf, which is obviously something you love to do all the time at Centre Parks. We should give it a go, we're here, and if we're going to be on here all day, it's actually a bit cloudy at the moment, so I thought, oh, it'll be a little bit cooler to be stood out there doing it. True, because see, it's but bit... I've caught the sun a little bit yesterday. And it, it's heaving outside, like, up on the deck. I mean, we had a rain shower earlier, karma hit, and everyone who had put their stuff on the sun now just reserving them, which you're not supposed to do, everything is completely soaked through. Terrible it's, shame. You know, that's what happened, so I am... Um, like, I think it's a good time to do it before it gets too hot and too busy up there. Right, let's go and uh, have a go with mini golf, shall we? It's his birthday, so I kind of have to let him win, don't I? <laughs> Final hole. Another minute, you've got three ahead of me? Yeah. Although I do think that it's have disappeared from your points. They then. have not. I'm not convinced. So I need to get this as a hole in one to equal. <laughs> nice crumbs. <laughs> God, it's gone really windy all of a sudden, doesn't it? It's lovely. I knew one on your birthday. So, so far today, we have been making the most of our sea day, just to slow down and take it a bit easier, not rushing around. Now, what we think, we are just going past Bonaire, which we should have been arriving at, hmm, about 12 hours ago. But, you know, as we said, these things haven't gone quite to plan. We're not going to stop there now, and we are carrying on on our way to our next stop, hopefully arriving and getting back on track tomorrow. So this evening we are planning to go to Nonna's so Dave can get a pizza for his birthday. 
of course. And then maybe, just maybe, we might make it up late enough to go and see tonight's show in the Broadway, Broadway? Broadway Stage Lounge? In the theatre. Broadway Stage Theatre. That might be, that might be right. That is not correct. So I have gone for pepperoni, mozzarella, peppers, mushroom, oregano, and chili flakes. Now there's been absolutely no thought process about this. I've literally just ticked the boxes as I've gone down, so we'll find out how that turns out. But chuck it lovely. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. Now this is mine. This is a panna cotta, if anyone's interested. Are you ready for some really good describing words? It's really nice. <laughs> Come back tomorrow evening for his late night show. Hello. We are still at sea. So last night at 10 to 7, the captain came on to do his announcement and, uh, and explained to everyone that because of the delays of getting the barge and the refueling, the decision had then been made that we would actually not head to Grenada and instead would carry on straight to St. Lucia to make sure we get at least one more island done on this <laughs> on this cruise. So we are now faced with another sea day. Yesterday, or the day before, when we kind of realised we'd be having one, we were okay with that. Um, I think when you're faced with two consecutive sea days, and that's another island off the list of places we'll have got to visit. It's a little bit more um, disheartening, I suppose. But we're still going to make the most of it, we're still going to have a good day. At least we were able to enjoy last night and have a few more drinks and, and stay up later. I mean, we, it was got midnight last night when we got back to bed. It's not normal. I know. <laughs> so rather than making another separate sea day vlog, I'm just going to roll yesterday's into today and show you what bits we get up to today as well. Um, if anything, it may just be a very chilled out day. But actually we have got dinner tonight already booked at one of the premium a la carte restaurants so that's a surf and turf so we've got that booked for tonight um, and actually the entertainment on offer this evening looks quite good with a silent disco and also the comedian who we saw last night um, Scotty Miller is doing a late night comedy set which I think is a bit more adult although it is an adult only ship so but that is at half eleven tonight, so if we, if we make it to midnight two nights on this holiday, it would be, um, be, be maybe be a surprise. Look at him. I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> How many days do we need? Not that many. Not many, but not this far. <laughs> This afternoon we decided to try out the main dining room for lunch. We did go earlier in our trip for breakfast, but we hadn't yet been there for lunch or dinner. So we thought we'd give it a try. Now we found the food to be very tasty. It was like a really nice lunch. 
just like our experience at breakfast, we did find the service really slow and not not as good as we'd maybe expected. We then had a little mooch around the shops. I bought a little pin. So I've got no idea why that uh, Mo the Morella Cruz's mascot, or, or yeah, maybe like mascot, is a alpaca or a llama. But I thought it was a nice little memento from our first cruise. Obviously that's not too big. We also then paid for an hour on the Wi-Fi for each of us. Obviously it was Dave's birthday yesterday whilst we were at sea and we had thought it would be you know, maybe at land today and be able to find some free Wi-Fi, but that obviously wasn't to be the case. So we paid eight pounds each for one hour of Wi-Fi. So it's capped at one hour or it's capped at 30 megabytes, I think. So it's um, not a huge amount. So we did both manage to get online. They managed to see his some of the birthday messages he'd received, but didn't manage to do much else. And I quite, actually quite enjoyed not being connected to our phones the whole time and having internet as much as uh, we normally would. There are packages of an hour a day, five days, and then like a trip long. One day package would give you four times as much data, and it was for fifteen pounds. So, you know, it works out better value for money the more you go up. But do bear in mind that that data still can be used very quickly if you are uploading images or you're trying to download anything. Now, whilst we um, whilst we did have the Wi-Fi, one of the things that I haven't read much about. One of the things that I did see um, on my Facebook like feed a lot was people who are in different Morella cruise groups um, talking about the Aruba crisis. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we're just more laid back about these things, but I definitely wouldn't call it an Aruba crisis. You know, yes, it's disrupted our itinerary for the week. Yes, we have missed off a couple of the islands, but you know, it's all been fully explained on board and reasons for it. It sounds like the crew on board have done everything they can to you know, try and make it the best experience. TUI um, has offered a goodwill gesture to everyone as well. So both in terms of holiday vouchers for future break and some onboard credit. They didn't have to do that. And I'm sure in the terms and conditions it does say, you know, you may not get to all of these islands, but this is our plan. Um, so to have something offered, I felt like that was a, um, a good gesture. If they turned around and said, actually, we're going to give you more, would I refuse it? Of course not. But I wouldn't be calling it an Aruba crisis. So, so the ship is still carrying on, uh, making its way towards St. Lucia. We've been told that uh, we're not going to be tendering tomorrow, which is what we had thought. So we had expected to be anchoring off just off the coast and then the small tender um, boats to kind of bring us to land and back. Um, apparently now we are going to be docking in the port, which means that we can get off and back on the ship um, just as easily as we did in Curacao and Aruba. So that's a positive. So I think it's about time we start getting ourselves ready. And, um, and there we go. Okay, now, look, you can probably just about see some skin here. <laughs>